All right, awesome. So we are talking and doing milk, plant-based milk, vegan milk. Today, especially, we are going to be doing oat milk. All right, um, and there's a lot of talk about oat milk, um, but you know, I love Oatly, but I wanted to figure out how I can just make my own version of Oatly so you know, I know exactly what's going into my milk and I can really enjoy it with a level head and my whole family can enjoy it and really you know, get all the benefits from making our own milk. So, we are gonna get started with our oat milk and today, instead of using a blender, which you can use to make your milk, I am going to use my almond cow. The difference for using the almond cow versus a blender is um, cleanup and the thickness of what we're gonna make, which is the milk, all right? So, first things first, you wanna make sure you soak your oats and these are 100% oats they haven't been rolled nothing they're just all natural oats soak one cup of oats I like to do it overnight but you can do it for a minimum of like three or four hours and I'm just gonna pour this out and get rid of all the excess water because we don't need it all right I'm gonna just let this drain for a second in here and all this comes with your machine all right so into the machine, you have two lines. You have max and you have minimum. I like to just do the minimum, and I like to add some ice to it. The colder your water, the better your milk's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more water while this is draining, and um, we'll get started. All right, so our oats are fully drained. All right, so we're gonna leave this in here. We're gonna add, so this is sugar. You can add maple syrup, you can add honey, um, you can add sugar, it really depends up to you. You can add any kind of sweetener you want. Um, so right now we're actually gonna do a little bit of coconut sugar, all right? It's just a little healthier for you, and then, you know, you still have that brown, so it adds a really nice color to the milk when we do it. So I like to do about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. I like my just tablet on the sweeter side sometimes. And then for the vanilla, I do a teaspoon of vanilla because I love vanilla in my milk. All right, so that's it. That's all we need to do. Some people like to add oil. Um, I don't think it's needed, but if you want to add oil, you can. You can add about a tablespoon. It gives you that mouthfeel like actual milk, but it's not necessary. All right, so take your machine. Right, and this blade is not sharp at all, but it does perfectly for the oats. So put it into the side, just so it can kind of fit in there properly. And then you just twist it, right? And that's it, it's on, it's ready to go. We have our ice and our water in here. We're gonna just put this down, all right? Connect it, we wanna make sure we plug it in. And this is super easy and it's so quick, right? We just wanna make sure that everything is nice and cold and we will be good to go. And the cool thing about this machine is the fact that it's because it's a machine, you just have to press a button and we're good. So yeah, so machine is ready, everything is plugged up. So it does this three times. The third time, we're done. All right, one more buzz and then we're good to go. All right, so that's it. You know, we're done, we have milk. Are you ready to see what this looks like? I like to just unplug it first, you know, safety. What I love about this machine when you get it is that it gives you this for a specific reason because there's still milk that's going to be dripping from here. So we unscrew this, all right, put this down to the side. And then we just transfer this into the perfectly health situation. And then it's time for our milk. So milk's done, super delicious, super fresh, literally water, oats, vanilla, sugar, um, and that's it. I'm actually gonna taste some. Can you say shots? Yes. 
Is there a white hat? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So the only thing I'll warn you about making your own milk is the fact that after a couple hours it's gonna separate, which is totally normal because we're not adding any kind of emulsifiers, which is not really natural. Um, so don't be afraid when you see it separating, just make sure you put it in an airtight container and then just shake it up and it'll be back to how it looks right now. And look at that, you even have some froth on the top, right? Cheers. So it's nice and clean, you know, um, and you'll kind of get a little bit of that, um, I guess the fiber, you know, which is great because fiber is really good for you as well. So the cool thing as well is that you don't need to throw this away. Um, you can actually use this to make oatmeal. You can use this to make some kind of uh, pudding. Um, you can bake with it. You can do really cool things with this. So don't throw it away. All right. Um, and yeah, that's how we make milk at home and you know, save you some money, right? All right.